The second code reuse technique that we will talk about is the custom tag. Now, what is a custom tag? A custom tag allows you to extend the ColdFusion language with your own tags. You can write your custom tags in three different languages. You can write them in CFML, of course, but also in Java or in C++. However, in this course, we will only cover the CFML custom tags. Now, a CFML custom tag is actually a regular .cfm file, but that file has to be stored in a very specific location. First, you can store your custom tag files in the same directory as the regular ColdFusion pages that are using those custom tags. You can also store your custom tags in the custom tags directory of the ColdFusion server. The custom tags that you place there are available to the whole ColdFusion server, which means to all the applications, all the websites, in other words, that are using that ColdFusion server. This is a way for hosting providers to give their customers access to additional features because all the customers using that ColdFusion server will be able to use these custom tags. Note that you can also store custom tags in subdirectories of that custom tag directory. You can also use any folder of your hard disk as a custom tags repository, but in that case you need to register that directory as a possible location for custom tags, and you do that in the ColdFusion administrator using the custom tag path page in the extension category. Of course, the custom tags that you store at those locations are also available to the entire ColdFusion server. Finally, you can store your custom tags in a directory of your application, in any directory of your application. And in that case, your custom tags will only be available to your application. This is something that we will cover later in this course when talking about the application framework. Now, when the custom tags are deployed at the proper location, how can you use them? If you have stored those custom tags in one of the locations described in the previous slide, you can use that syntax here. You can use cf underscore followed by the name of the file. So in this example, we imagine a foo.cfm file stored in one of the specified location, and you can call that custom tag using cf underscore foo. Now, what makes custom tags more interesting than regular includes is that you can customize the custom tag each time you call it by passing attributes to the custom tags using exactly the same principle as for a regular tag of the CFML or a regular tag of HTML. Now, a second way to call a custom tag is to use the CF module tag of ColdFusion. With that CF module tag, you need to specify the template, which is the path to the custom tag file. And that allows you to store your custom tag files anywhere in your application because you specify which custom tag you want to consume, you want to use in the template attribute of the CF module tag. You can also pass additional attributes to the custom tag using that key value pair syntax that you have here on the slide. Another way to call a custom tag is to use the CF import tag of ColdFusion. In that case, you will use CF import at the top of the ColdFusion page, and you will specify a prefix and a taglib. The taglib is a directory of your application that contains your custom tags. And to use the custom tags stored in that directory, you will use the prefix, in this case, for example, my tags, followed by a colon, followed by the name of the custom tag that you want to call. So in that case, with my tags colon foo, you would call the foo.cfm page that is in the taglib directory, which means in the directory specified in the taglib attribute of the CF import tag. If this sounds mysterious to you, don't worry. In the next video, we will do some experiments with custom tags, and hopefully this will start to make more sense.